Well, today we poured a few concrete slabs around an apartment building. I'm going to show you how we did it. Well, we're continuing our videos on slabs. We poured that one and that one. That was a year and a half ago. Now we're going to pour these. I covered that with plastic. It's like a lubricant. I put up my uh, key locks to uh, separate it. So once they're in, I put the concrete or a little bit of cement around them to hold them in place. The sand is just so the cement don't stick. I got my uh, seal seal on it. The owner did all this. The only thing I'm doing today is helping the pour. Anytime where you get around something, we don't want the concrete to stick to anything. Then we got the plastic on here again. And we're going to pour the slabs. And this is what we did last year, the sidewalks. We poured this yesterday, the sidewalks. So here we go. Also, this is called modified. It's gravel with stone dust in it. The idea is to keep the water away from the building. Pitch it away from the building. You can see the pitch how it goes this way, away from the building. And you get down here, and he has a good pitch going this way. Ever since he did that, there's no more water problem. this concrete 15 minutes ago. So what I'm doing is I'm going around making sure that all my edges are correct at the right height. I got the plastic in here because I don't want concrete touching concrete. This is my big tool. Like a full float. That gives me some edges to go by. That. Use a board. The old timers made their own stone tools out of out of wood. Board. board in there. That. This. Flatten out. Find out where my edges are. in as fast as I can. Took a lot of concrete, Mike. You see good. Yep. Maybe you'll land an airplane on this. <laughs> well, you don't have to worry about it for a while, right? Yeah. Mike, does that wire mesh work in this stuff? No, you're not going to be driving a truck over it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. That just makes it stronger? That's if you're driving like back holes. Yeah. Yeah. Did we put in a four in the, in the garage? Yeah. You did? Well, there you have to. Yeah. There you have to. But for the most part, side locks, maybe in the front where the the PPL truck's gonna come someday, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But most of the time, no. 
it's about an hour after the truck left. And I got it all flattened out. I got all my edges in. A lot of guys wait. I don't wait. I stay right on the concrete until it's done. I'm going to tell you why. If I died right now, and I can't die yet because I got too many bills to pay, but if I died right now, this would almost pass. So I got to go through it one more time, but it's almost like it's done now. So that's the way I do concrete because you can lose it like that. In five minutes, boom, the whole thing could be gone. So that's the way I think. I'm doing my last finish, and uh, not a fan of doing uh, broom finishes unless they actually call for it. It's still old school. In the old days, they did not accept a broom finish. Nowadays, they accept a broom finish, so everything changes. So this is my last finish. How do you know when to finish it? When it's ready. That's all. Got to go around it. It's ready. As long as it swirls, it's ready. So when they first start doing broom finishes, they call it a broom finish because it was an actual broom. But I'm not really a fan of that. I think it drags the top off. I've always been a fan of swirls. Just like that. So that's it. Uh, people ask me, should I put wire in it or should I not put wire in it? Should I put rebar in it? At all costs, I don't like to use wire or rebar unless I have to. Now, if you're driving trucks over or heavy machinery, yeah, but concrete's got to float. Rebar in our area where we live, the water gets in there, the rebar expands, eventually it'll break your concrete apart, usually within 35 years. So. Uh, I don't use it unless I have to. The old timers rarely use it. They all pour it in sections. If you look at my videos on sidewalks over in Europe, they all pour little sections like this. The burl truck picks it up. They don't have the jackhammers or anything like that. So it all depends on what you're doing. There's no right and wrong way. You just do it or you put it in compared to the way you want it to come out and how long you want it to last. Thanks for watching. I'm Mike Haddock, and that's it.